Hey guys, Ben here from Corner Flag Games, and welcome to episode 9 of the Crawley Town Road to Glory career mode. A little bit different in today's episode, guys. We have three games in today's episode. The first one is away in the EFL League 2 to Lincoln City. The second one is at home to Forest Green Rovers, managed by the one and only Sparring DK. Now, Sparring DK is a fellow YouTuber and a good friend of mine who is doing a current manager career mode with Forest Green Rovers. And I implore you guys to go and check out his good work that he does on his channel. I will leave his channel description and the link below in the description. And for our third and final game today, we will be away in the EFL League 2 to Wickham Wanderers. So without further ado, guys, let's waste no time and get into the first game. Okay, guys, so heading off in today's first game, it is Lincoln City hosting Crawley Town in the EFL League 2. Here is the Lincoln City lineup. Vickers in goal. A back four of Erdely, Raggett, Dickey and Habergham. Four in the midfield of Ginley, Woodyard, Bostwick and Arnold. Palmer at centre attacking mid and Green up front as the striker. Here is the Crawley Town lineup. Unchanged. Dada in goal. A back four of Brown, Connolly, Yorworth and Avena. Rivera and Randall as the CDMs. Roberts at left mid. Baldwin at right mid. Cox at centre attacking mid. And Connor Chaplin up front by himself as the striker. And Lincoln City are going to kick us off for today's game. Rivera fumbles with that ball, gives it to Palmer. Palmer gets a shot off, but Dada manages to clean that one up. It's gone to Avena. Avena's dropped that one into Roberts. Roberts at the edge of the area has a crack with his left foot and manages to slide that one on a very awkward angle into the bottom corner. Well done by the young left midfielder. And as you can see, Avena managed to slice through a perfect through ball to Roberts there. Comes into the edge of the six-yard box and manages to strike that one with his left foot with lots of power across the face of goals, across the keeper, and into the bottom corner. And here's the goal scorer, Jordan Roberts with his seventh goal in the EFL League 2. And Lincoln City are going to kick us off again. Brown wins the header to Baldwin, back to Brown. Brown sees a bit of space that he can work with there. It's into Randall. Baldwin out wide to Brown. Brown slips through Randall. Randall's going to take a run now. He's going to have a cross. We've got a man running. It's Cox. Cox with the easiest and weakest header in the world. 28 minutes in. Manages to track his run. Come near post. Hit that with his head and put it into the bottom corner. And it was a well-worked team display here. Randall running down the line. Bombs in across. Cox manages to stop his run. Comes slightly forward and grabs that one just in front of the penalty spot. And puts it into the near post. And here's the goal scorer, Dean Cox, with his 10th goal in the EFL League 2. And Lincoln are going to get us underway. Oh, and again, possession palmed over to Cox early in the midfield. Chaplin on the ball at the moment. He's got plenty of space to run in. Can he do anything with it? He finesses it with his right foot. Vickers managed to get a touch. Baldwin has a strike on a difficult angle, but it goes well wide. Rivera, can we break on the counter-attack? He slices that one forward to Roberts. Roberts with plenty of space to run, and he sees the man coming middle. It's Cox, has a strike from outside, and it's just wide of the post. Very unlucky by our top goal scorer. Erdely smashes the ball forward into the midfield. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. At the conclusion of the first half in our first game today, we are absolutely bossing it. There's our man Dean Cox having two shots so far and securing one goal for us. And at the end of the first half, it's finishing up Lincoln City nil, Crawley Town 2. Okay, so moving into the match facts at the end of the first half. And what a drubbing it is at the moment. Lincoln City no goals to Crawley Town's 2. Lincoln City with one shot and one on target. So 100% shooting accuracy for them. To Crawley Town's massive 8 shots and 6 on target. With a shooting accuracy of 75%. Possession is fairly evenly balanced at 47% to Lincoln and 53% to Crawley. Passing accuracy for Lincoln at 75% to Crawley Town's 89%. Let's see if we can get into the second half, steamroll over Lincoln City, and come out with the three points. And Crawley Town are going to get us underway for the second half. Come on, boys. Let's do it. Tries to slot in a pass, but it's not going to go anywhere, but it, luckily it falls back to him. Goes into Brown. Back to Rivera. 
through the midfield. It's to Cox. He sees Baldwin running wide, takes a heavy touch and a cross. It's a looping cross and Roberts gets ahead to it but puts it well over the bar. Lincoln City finally managing to get a couple of balls through their midfield instead of turning over possession. It's Dickey on it, but Connolly comes in with a beautiful save. Hands the possession straight over to Anderson, fires it and fires it over the bar. 86 minutes in, it's a free kick for Lincoln. Square outside, he's going to go for the strike boss week, but it's well, well over the bar. Gives it into Baldwin. Baldwin running it. Defenders now, it's 90 minutes in. Can he play Roberts through for one last time? Roberts takes a touch, comes inside, has a crack on his left, but Vickers dives to his bottom left and takes that ball. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the second half. So unfortunately, we weren't able to come out and steamroll over Lincoln City. It was fairly balanced in the second half. But that's all we needed. And there's the man of the moment again. It's Dean Cox with another goal to add to his tally for Crawley Town. And it's going to finish Lincoln City nil, Crawley Town 2. And moving into the match facts at the end of the second game. And it's two goals to us to Lincoln City's nil. Lincoln with five shots and two on target with a shooting accuracy of 40%. Also with a passing accuracy of 83%. Crawley Town, 11 shots and seven on target with a possession of 54% and a shooting accuracy of 63%. Good to see. It's over that 50% that I like. A passing accuracy as well of 87%. In this game, guys, we just managed to dominate and steamroll over Lincoln City in the first half. They weren't good enough to come back in the second. And moving into today's Man of the Match performance, and today we're going to give it to the 8.8 rated Avena there at left back, getting up and down that left hand side all day, making it very difficult for the Lincoln City defenders. And here we are guys, moving into today's second match. We are at home, facing off against Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers. Don't forget guys, I've left Sparring DK's channel link in the description below. Please guys, go and check out his channel and his Forest Green Rovers career mode that he's doing at the moment on his channel. So without further ado, let's get into the game. Here we are guys, it's Crawley Town hosting Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers in the EFL League 2. Here's the Crawley Town lineup, unchanged. Dada are in goal, the back four of Brown, Connolly, Yorworth, and Avena. Randall and Rivera as the CDMs in today's game. Roberts at left mid, Baldwin at right mid, Dean Cox as the centre attacking mid, and Chaplin up front as the lone striker. And here is Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers lineup. It's Russell in goal, a back four of Bennett, Collins, Icovidi and Laird. Middle four of Brown, Noble, Traore, and Randall. James and Doige up front as the strikers. And Forest Green are going to kick us off. Randall breaks up the play into Roberts. He's playing that one central, it's the Chaplin. It's a very quick turn to Cox. Cox has turned his man, he's gonna have a strike. Plays it across. The keeper for Forest Green manages to keep that one. Here we are, it's a corner for Crawley Town. 21 minutes in, Roberts standing over it. He's gonna bomb this one in near post. Bennett manages to get ahead to it and it's going to go out for a throw in. Comes inside to Roberts, back to Rivera. Inside again to Randall. Randall flicks that one onto Corey Brown. He's gonna take a touch and a strike from long range and it's just wide of the post. And it's a corner now for Forest Green Rovers. 34 minutes in, we need to be able to defend this. Oh no, Brown has completely missed that header and it's dropped straight in front of the penalty spot. And as you can see here from their corner, they've dropped that one in fairly even. Brown misses the header and it falls to James near the penalty spot and he just strikes it on the volley. Dada not quick enough to make that save and get across. And Forrest Green with a shock reply. And it's Luke James with his fourth goal in the EFL League 2 for Forrest Green. And Crawley Town are going to kick us off. 36 minutes in. Into Rivera. Into Cox. Cox takes a touch and a heavy one. Turns and shoots. And it's inches wide of that post. Randall. Playing some very quick touch football here. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us for the first half. So with a very unlucky strike, we are 1-0 down at the halftime break. And at the halftime break, it's Crawley Town 0, Forest Green Rovers 1. Here we are moving into today's match facts for our second game. No goals for us, one to Forest Green Rovers. Three shots for us with one on target of a shooting accuracy of 33% to sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers with four shots three on target and a 75% shooting accuracy. 59% possession to us to Forest Green Rovers, 41%. We've had the more of the possession, but haven't done much with it. So without further ado, let's get into the second half. And 
Crawley Town are going to kick us off for the second half. Let's not make another loss out of this. Try and see if we can push men forward and get a win. Corner now for Crawley Town. Robert standing over it 60 minutes in. We're going to pump this one into the box. It's come out wide. Fallen as far as Randall out wide. And Randall's going to run this one down the line. Try and jump dump in across. It's only come as far as Cox. Gives it into Rivera. Rivera's got some work to do now. He's flung this one out to Brown. Marking us very tightly. We can't get any movement going here. Robert's on the ball at the moment. He's waiting for the run of Avena. But it doesn't come. And here we are. Can we do something on the break now? Roberts out running out wide. He's going to have to stop and turn around. He's going to give that one into Chaplin. Chaplin gets tackled, but he's going to lay it off to Randall. Randall's going to take a touch from out wide. And the shot's blocked by Traore. Corner now for Crawley Town. 71 minutes in. Cox standing over it. He's dumped it in. Avena gets ahead to it, but Russell makes a fantastic save. Falling as far as Connolly. Connolly can't get a shot off. Brown's got it now. He's going to run this ball out wide. See if he can dump in across. Tries to. Rivera gives it into Connolly. He's going to flick that one back to Rivera. Connolly, Rivera, one two in with each other, trying to find some space to work in. Rivera turns his man, but he gets shouldered by Traore. Correa out wide now for Forest Green. 90 minutes. This is bad. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That will do us for the second half. And unfortunately, it's another bad game in our books. Not strong enough to beat Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers. And at the end of the second half, it's going to finish Crawley Town nil. Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers won. So judging by the statistics, guys, it was a rather difficult game for both sides, but Forest Green Rovers managing to come out on top with one goal, six shots and four shots on target with a shooting accuracy of 66% to our no goals, eight shots, and three shots on target. A shooting accuracy of 37%. That is absolutely appalling. 63% possession to Crawley Town, to Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers at 37%. It sure as hell didn't feel like we had 63% of the possession. 84% passing accuracy to us, to Forest Green Rovers, 70%. Unfortunately, guys, another loss. And moving into today's man of the match, and it's going to go to a Forest Green Rovers player. It's James at the left striker position with an overall rating of 8.2. Well done. Okay, guys, so moving into today's third and final game of the episode, we are away to Wickham Wanderers in the EFL League 2. Okay, guys, so moving into the third and final game of today, Wickham Wanderers are hosting Crawley Town in the EFL League 2. And here is the Wickham Wanderers lineup. Brown in goal. A back four of Harriman, Stewart, Al Abd, and Jakobsen. Saunders at centre mid. Oneen and Rowe are the other central midfielders. Casket at, at right wing. Melma at left mid. And Tyson as the striker. Here's the Crawley Town lineup. Unchanged from our last game. Dada in goal. A back four of Brown, Connolly, Yorworth, and Avena. Randall and Rivera as the CDMs. Roberts at left mid. Baldwin at right mid. Dean Cox at centre attacking mid and Chaplin up front as the lone striker. And Crawley Town are gonna get us underway for the first half. Here's hoping that off the back of our last loss to Forest Green, we can secure three points. What the hell sort of goalkeeper kit is that? Six minutes in, corner now for Crawley Town. It's Dean Cox, he's gonna drop this one into the box with running first in. Oh, and it's, what a calamity! And Zio Baldwin running off and peeling off his man at the back post manages to slot that ball at that back post without me even hitting the shoot button. As you can see, Cox has lobbed in from the corner. Connolly gets a header on it. It falls back post and was going wide. But Enzio Baldwin manages to be in the right place at the right time and slot that one home. And here's the goal scorer. It's Enzio Baldwin with his fourth goal in the EFL League 2. And Wickham are going to get us underway. Randall. Flicks that one through to Baldwin, running down the line. Baldwin, can he get in front of his man here? He does. He's going to lob in across. It's back post. Brown comes out and collects it. Avena wins the header. Back to Cox. Into Randall. Flicks that one through to Cox again. Cox running around, dancing around. Has a shot from outside the box. And I don't know how he's done it. But outside the box, right outside the arc, manages to receive the ball, turn the player, smash it from range, and it's gone past the keeper. As you can see, receives it in, manages to take a touch, turn it, take a couple of steps to his left, beats his defender, and catches the goalkeeper completely off guard, puts his laces through it, 
and manages to find the bottom right hand corner. And there's the goal scorer, the magnificent man, it's Dean Cox with his 11th goal in the EFL League 2. And Wickham are going to get us underway. And they clear that one wide, but we turn over possession to Tyson. It's your worth with the bad pass. Flicks over possession in a dangerous area. Can we get numbers back? It's Melmer on the ball, takes a strike, but Dada gets down very close to it. And manages to parry it. Randall flicks in a lob through ball. He sees Chapman running. Chaplin manages to get it, takes a touch, pushes it past. He's going to take a strike. It's fallen to Roberts, and Roberts with the cleanup. What a fantastic play there from defence. Lobbed in a chipped through ball all the way to Chaplin. Two men trying to boss possession off him. He takes a touch, has a strike, as you can see here. Has a strike. Keeper parries it. It falls straight to Roberts, who drops it on his right. Flings it to his left and manages to smash that one in with all sorts of power into the back of the net. And there he is, the goal scorer. It's Jordan Roberts with his eighth goal in the EFL League 2. It's 3-0 the scoreline to Crawley Town. Can Wickham reply? We're steamrolling them. He can. Flicks that one back to Avena, but Avena gives over possession to O'Neill. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do us at the end of the first half. So, what an interesting game that this one has turned out to be. Jordan Roberts with our final goal there in the first half. We are completely steamrolling over third place Wickham. And at the end of the first half, it's Wickham nil, Crawley Town 3. And here are the match facts at halftime, and it's very, very grim for the Wickham Wanderers. No goals to them. Two shots with one shot on target, and a shooting accuracy of 50% for them. To Crawley Towns, three goals, five shots, and four on target, with a shooting accuracy of 80%. Doing a lot better in this game than what we did in our last against Forest Green Rovers. Possession, fairly balanced. It's Wickham with 44% to Crawley Towns, 56%. Passing accuracy for Wickham Wanderers at 78% to Crawley Crawley Towns, 84%. Let's see if we can steamroll over them and boss this match in the second half and kill the game out. And Wickham are going to get us underway for the second half. Rivera winning the header there. Into Cox, flings it into Chaplin. Chaplin puts in a beautiful through ball to Baldwin. It's one on one. He's put it left and he's hit the post. Cox again takes a strike. It comes off Stewart and hits the post. Tyson now on the ball for Wickham. Stewart. Tries to play in Cohen Hall behind the players. Here we go again. And Harriman completely mishits that volley and puts it wide. Connolly now taken in from behind. Oh no, it's one on one. Cohen Hall. Can we defend this? Dada comes up with a fantastic, crucial save. And here we go. We can get a free kick in injury time of the second half. In a very dangerous position for us. They've got it into the box. Cohen Hall's got it. Are we going to keep the clean sheet? Dada makes a fantastic save. We need to win the header. Tyson has a crack at it, but it goes well wide. Do we have time to do anything about it? Can Wickham get a reply? No, they can't. And we run out 3-0 winners in an absolute smashing against third place Wickham Wanderers. And what an eventful game. We managed to kill the game off in the first 45 minutes, but couldn't get another goal to seal out and dominate a second half performance. And it's going to finish Wickham nil, Crawley Town 3. Now jumping into the match facts at the end of today's third and final game. And it's no goals to Wickham and we run out three goal victors. Nine shots for Wickham with one on target with 11% shooting accuracy. That is absolutely abysmal. In contrast to Crawley Town's 11 shots and four on target. So we weren't much better at hitting the target today either with a shooting accuracy of 36%, which is also fairly abysmal. Possession sort of balanced out more in the second half with 44% going to Wickham and 56% to Crawley Town. Wickham's passing accuracy at 77% to Crawley Town's 82%. And moving into today's man of the match, and again, with a 9.2 rating, we're going to hand it over to Dean Cox in the center attacking midfield position. This man is absolutely unstoppable at the moment, rocketing up the goal scoring charts now as well. I'm pretty sure he's in the top five now. Okay guys, so here is the league table after today's three games. So we still sit top of the table of 43 points with Luton Town closing in on our gap, sitting in second on 38 points. And now looking towards the bottom of the table, it's Stevenich hanging up the bottom of the table with one win and 10 points, sitting in 24th. Your other bottom places, we're looking at Morecambe in 23rd, Sparring DK's Forest Green Rovers in 22nd, Barnett in 21st, 
and Cheltenham Town sitting comfortably in 20th position. So guys, that wraps up today's episode. So in our next episode, we're going to be going back to playing two games again. The first one will be at home against Exeter City in the EFL League 2. And the second one will be played away against Coventry in the EFL League 2 as well. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Be sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it and leave your comments and feedback below. Don't forget to smack that subscribe button if you haven't already and tick the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll be back with the next episode of the Crawley Town Road to Glory Career Mode soon.